What's up everybody? I'm Sarah with the Adventure Squad. Are you ready for a fun family card game? Well today I'm going to show you how to play Skip Bow. And as you can tell, this game has already gotten lots of loving. So this game is definitely a favorite of ours and it's already been requested by Arcado to be played again tonight. This game is for two or more players and the object of the game is to get rid of your stack of cards. So first I'm going to show you how to set up and then play the game. Once you have all of the cards shuffled, you deal out everyone's assigned deck. In a two to four player game, each person gets a deck of 30 cards. In a five to six player game, everyone gets a deck of 20 cards. Once you have everyone's assigned deck dealt, you then deal a hand of five cards for each player. This is the initial setup for a game of skip bow. Everyone has their stack of cards that they are trying to get rid of and a five card hand that they use to play cards. Before you start, everyone flips over the top card of the pile of cards that they're trying to get rid of. This middle pile is the draw pile that people will use to draw cards from as they play cards from their hands. Once we start playing, we can have up to four stacks of cards on the table at one time. The stacks of cards go up in numerical order, starting with one or a skip bow. Skip bows are wild and can be played as any number in the sequence. To start their game, everyone looks at their hands. If this player is starting, you can see that we have our hand, we have a skip bow. However, we are trying to get rid of this pile first. So the first thing I'm gonna do is play this card and play my skip bow as a one. Each pile needs to start with a one or a skip bow and go up in sequence. So it would be one or skip bow, two, three, four, and so on. Next, I'm gonna flip over this card and it's a nine. I can't play that. However, I have cards in my hand that I can play. I do have another skip bow that I can play as either a two or a one. I will choose to play it as a one. Now, if there's no other cards that I can play from my hand, I need to choose a card to discard. Now, these cards are not out of the game. They can be used later on, and you can have up to four piles in front of you. So, I'm going to choose a card and lay it down. Then, it's the next player's turn. Now, as you can see, player number two can play some cards. So, player two will play two, three, four... And as you can see, we can use the top card from our pile that we're trying to get rid of. Flip over the next card, and we can have up to four piles started. So I'm going to start a third pile, flip over, and it's another five. Now I don't have any other cards that can help me, so I have to discard one to end my turn. I'll choose to discard the 12, and play moves to the next player. As we can see, player number three can also play some cards, and they can play six, and they have either skip bow or a seven. However, if we can, we would like to try to save skip bows for later on if we have other cards that we can play. So they would choose to use the seven and play it on the six, so that way they can play the eight and start getting rid of their own pile. Now we can't play the four, so we can either play the skip bow if we want, or we can choose to lay down and end our turn. As we can see, this player has a nine, so we could use the skip bow and play it on the eight to make it a nine. That way the next player can't play the nine on their turn and get rid of another card. Now if we're done, we can choose to discard a card. So we'll go ahead and lay down the seven, and it's the next player's turn. Now, the first player only has three cards left, so they can bring their hand back up to five cards, meaning they can draw two cards from the draw pile. Now, this is a nine, so we can play either a 10, a 2 or a 2. I don't have any of those, so I need to lay down. 
I can either choose to lay down a card on top of the nine, and those don't have to be in sequential order. If I wanted to, I could put my four down, or I can make a new pile of any number. So we'll go with a six. It is then the next player's turn. Now when you finish a pile with all 12 numbers, that pile gets set off to the side and gets reshuffled later on to use as the draw pile once again. You can use the cards from your discard pile to help you, and you can play them at any time along with cards from your hand. The first person who gets rid of their assigned stack wins the game. Now we do have two sets of skip boat cards, and that can come in handy if you're playing with a lot of people. That way you don't have to constantly stop your gameplay and shuffle all the cards. If you have two sets of cards, it's less shuffling and less time away from the game. If you're interested in trying skip boat for yourself, check out the Amazon links below. I've linked a pack of these skip boat cards down below, and these are about $13. Otherwise, they also have a small metal tin that the cards come in that you can also get, and that's about $15. With the tin, you probably have less chance of getting the cards wrecked or bent, and they probably store better than in one of these paper boxes like this. So feel free to check out both of those links below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below to catch more how to play videos. And until next time, get your game on. Today we are going to play Skip Rope. Hooray! And are go! You ready? Oreo, are you ready? Oh, are you gonna join me? It's good? Yeah, that's good. Favorite game.